Hi, today we will talk about the mechanism of action of penicillin and other beta-lactam antibiotics. Beta-lactam antibiotics are the drugs that contain a beta-lactam ring in their structure. The drugs in this class includes penicillins, cephalosporins, monobactam and carbapenems. Some important characteristics. Beta-lactams are bactericidal drugs, that is, they kill the susceptible bacteria. Beta-lactams act by inhibiting bacterial cell wall synthesis. Before moving ahead, a few important points about penicillins. Penicillin G or benzyl penicillin is the original penicillin used clinically and is derived from the fungus Penicillium chrysogenum. Penicillin G had a lot of limitations for clinical use. So, let us have a look at some of these limitations and also which new penicillins are available to bypass these limitations. First, penicillin G is not effective orally. It is broken down by acid in the stomach. So, new penicillins so that are now available are acid resistant and can be given orally such as penicillin V or phenoxymethyl penicillin, oxacillin, dicloxacillin, amoxicillin, ampicillin, etc. Second, penicillin G has a short duration of action due to rapid elimination from the kidney by tubular secretion. Benzathine or procaine group are added to penicillin G to make it longer acting. Another way of prolonging the duration of action is by giving probenicid along with penicillin. Probenicid inhibits tubular secretion of penicillin and increases the duration of action of penicillin. Third, penicillin G has a narrow spectrum of antibacterial activity. They are effective mainly against gram-positive bacteria. So, new penicillins are available that have an extended spectrum of action such as ampicillin, amoxicillin, ticarcillin, piperacillin, etc. Now, coming to the mechanism of action. How does penicillin or for that matter any other beta-lactam act? We have already discussed that beta-lactams inhibit bacterial cell wall synthesis. The basic action is that penicillin inhibits transpeptidation reaction. We know that the cell wall in gram-positive bacteria is made up of peptidoglycan polymer chains. By this, we mean that it consists of cross-linked polymers of polysaccharides and polypeptides. The polysaccharides involved are NAM, N-acetyl muramic acid and NAG, NAG, N-acetyl glucosamine. We can remember this by NAM, NAG. The polypeptides involved are 5 amino acid peptides that is AGLAA that is alanine, glutamic acid, lysine, alanine, alanine. Now, just have a look at the polymeric structure. In the figure displayed on the screen, the polysaccharides are denoted at the top by the square boxes, that is alternate NAM, NAG, NAM, NAG. Now, a 5 amino acid polypeptide is attached to each NAM molecule. This 5 amino acid polypeptide is AGLAA from top to the bottom. Now we will look what happens. There is a bacterial enzyme called transpeptidase which is also called penicillin binding protein. This transpeptidase enzyme catalyzes the break or the cleavage of the last alanine molecule or the last alanine amino acid from the peptide chain. 
which is being displayed at the bottom of the screen. The energy that is released by the, this reaction is utilized for establishing or creating cross linkages between the adjacent polypeptide chains. This cross linking happens through another chain of five glycine molecules which links lysine of one chain with the fourth alanine of the adjacent chain. So the net result is that adjacent polypeptide chains become cross-linked with each other. The cross-linking provides strength, stability and rigidity to the bacterial cell wall. This cross-linking that we discussed is what usually happens in gram-positive bacterial cell wall. Now let us have a look as to how penicillin disrupts or blocks this process in susceptible bacteria. Penicillin binds to and inhibits the enzyme transpeptidase. This results in inhibition of transpeptidation process. The last alanine amino acid is not broken off. The energy is not released and the cross-linking between the two adjacent polypeptide chains does not happen. So, when susceptible bacteria divides in the presence of penicillin, cell wall deficient forms of bacteria are produced. This leads to swelling of the bacterial cell which bursts or ruptures and results in bacterial cell death. Thanks for watching. If you find the information in this video beneficial, please share and subscribe if you have not done until now. Thank you.